Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another list for you. And this time, this list is going to be 10 fragrances that you can gift to the men in your life and who they are appropriate for. I'm gonna try to keep this list a little bit shorter. All of these have a full video done on them, so you can look that up if you want more information on the fragrance itself. I'm gonna try to run through these as quickly as I can in true Glam Finds fashion. This is going to be a little different than what you're used to on other channels, so let's go. All right, this first one, this is for your classic guy, man's man, just looking for a citrusy, aromatic fougere. This is perfect for someone who wants to dress it up, dress it down. Literally, probably one of the most versatile fragrances you're ever gonna get, and it's going to be Lolly Pour Homme. Not only that, but this is super economical. You can get this for under $20. You can get the big bottle for, I think, 25, and that's like, if I'm not mistaken, 4.2 ounces. It's a pretty nice bottle. It is Lalique quality juice. And again, you can wear this year round. No one's gonna dislike it. It's a very safe one. Next. Sticking with the classic man, but something that's a little bit more upscale, kind of a warm, spicy, not super old school, but definitely has a little bit of an old school vibe to it. You're gonna have M. Mikolov Paris style. The presentation on this one, I think, is kind of the nicest out of all of them. It's bedazzled, I mean, it's bedazzled. But it's very masculine smelling. It's a little bit more old school than a lot of them, but modern enough to wear today. For me, this is for Someone who is definitely a little bit more gentlemanly. You can wear this special occasions. You can make this a signature scent actually. Definitely year round. Personally, I kind of feel like this is more of a dressed up fragrance. This is for kind of a boss man. It's a really nice fragrance. Somebody told me I smelled like fall when I was wearing this and I thought that was really cool. Again though, it's a warm, spicy, kind of woody fragrance. I do have a full video on that, so watch that and you'll get more information on it. Next. This one I like a lot. This one is the fragrance that smells like basically a box of Cuban cigars and it's going to be Arami's Havana. Again, another economical one. This is a very gentlemanly fragrance. In fact, when I did the video for this, I think I said the word gentleman about 30 times. That's how gentlemanly this fragrance is. It's times 30. Anyone who wants to dress something up, have a nice evening fragrance, just smell pretty sexy and seductive, that's what you're gonna get from this. And you're gonna get it for around the $20 mark for 100 ml. I mean, Aramis has been around for a long time, so you guys already know the quality of the juice. Not the biggest performer, but for this much, you really can't go wrong. If anything, this would be an awesome stocking stuffer. And again, it smells different. It smells really good and hard pressed to find someone who doesn't like it. Next, for the more playful people in your life, someone who likes something a little sweet, a little seductive, a little sexy, a little discontinued, we got Mandarina Duck Black Extreme, which as of me shooting this video, is still available on fragrancebud.ca. They just restocked it. You're gonna get your mandarin, you're gonna get your orange blossom, you're gonna get your tiare, you're gonna get tonka, vanilla. It's a very creamy fragrance. It gets compared to kind of an orange version of Chanel Allure Ohm Edition Blanche. It is so nice. It is a compliment getter. It is sweet. I don't think it's too sweet, and I think it's going to pick up compliments for sure. Still really affordable, even though it's discontinued. Anytime it gets restocked, it is a pretty decent price, probably like $40, $45. Whenever it's out of stock, it goes for a lot more than that on eBay, so I would only buy this if you can get it for an affordable price. Next. All right, we're getting into the Middle Eastern part of this video. This one is a people pleaser and honestly, safe blind buy. It's gonna be our moth clubbed in a wee intense man. And as you guys already know, this is gonna get compared to Creed Aventus. Performance on me is really good. It makes a lot of my videos just cause it's that good. It's a compliment getter. It's got that birch and it's got that citrus 
bergamot heavy, kind of has that pineapple vibe. To me, it's kind of like one of those fragrances that transitions easily from day to night and it goes perfect year round. It's so good. No one is going to dislike this. This is one that if you don't know what they like, it's probably the easiest one to get. Next. This one's probably for a younger guy. It is a very sweet fragrance. To me, it is definitely a club banger. It is basically, well, the affordable Ultramol and I think it's stronger than the new versions of Ultramol and that's gonna be Afnan 9 p.m. Now, I personally like this more than Ultramol and I think it's significantly stronger. I did get a watered down newer version of Ultramol and I got rid of it because it just didn't perform and I hated that I needed like 15 sprays for anyone to smell it. I feel like that is ridiculous. This one is a two sprayer and it projects. It smells really, really good. You're not gonna find anyone that dislikes this one either. It's really nice. It's really sweet. If someone doesn't like sweet fragrances, maybe if they're a little bit more mature, skip. But younger folk, I don't think anyone's gonna dislike this. Next. All right, so this one is really good. It is a performance monster. A lot of people talk about reformulations. I go nose blind to it easily, but I thought because I got a reformulated batch, it was really bad, but I get compliments well after I spray this. And I mean like eight hours later, and that's pretty good. And it's going to be Rasasi Havas Porom. It gets comparative, kind of like a mix between Invictus and Invictus Aqua. It is pretty sweet. It's got a pretty strong musk in here like not an animalic musk it's really good to me super fruity super fresh super versatile because although i feel like it works quite well if you control your sprays in the summer it still cuts through the cold if you were looking for a fresh vibe on a cold winter day i don't think anyone's gonna dislike this one either and i think it just smells really good i don't think it's too sweet but it's definitely sweet very well balanced fragrance good job on rosasi's part for hitting it right out the park with that one I think it's really good. And again, I don't think anyone is going to dislike this by any means. Next. So this is for someone who doesn't enjoy sweet fragrances, but likes spicy fragrances. I've done the video on this. I personally like it. A lot of people say this is really good for layering, but I think if you don't like sweet fragrances, you don't really need to layer it. And it's going to be Rasasi Satur Wow. Again, I'm kind of rushing through these because this list, I've done all of the full review. All you have to do is type in Glam Finds in the name of the fragrance. You're gonna get the video. This one opens up. The cumin is a little strong. It's gonna be a little off-putting to certain people, but if you like the note of cumin, you're probably really gonna like this. I like it. The dry down, I don't really get as much cumin, but I get the other spices and I think it's gorgeous. It's a really nice fall fragrance to my nose. And it's a really nice fragrance to kind of dress up date night, especially if you don't like sweet fragrances. I think this is gonna work for that type of person. It's a very classic bottle, uh, nothing too fancy, but I kinda like that, that's pretty easy going. This is for someone who just doesn't like sweet fragrances, but likes a little spiciness, likes a little boldness. This is that guy. Next. I'm sure some of you guys thought this wasn't gonna make this list, but this is gonna make every list for the rest of my life, and it's gonna be Rosasi Dirige Pour Homme. I saved it for last. This is such a perfect fragrance. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's got the most perfect vanilla scent in here. This is for the romantic guy, the, the guy that he plans date night, you know? Like, it's not just like a dinner and a movie date. Like, this guy really goes all out. He deserves to smell this sexy. It smells that good. It's got a cumin note, but the way that the cumin is in this, I don't think it would be off-putting to anyone personally speaking. This is a creamy fragrance. This is a sweet fragrance. This is not a too sweet fragrance because it's spicy and sweet at the same time and it's harmonious the way that those two things blend together. I love this fragrance so much. I will recommend this to everyone until my last day doing videos. But I love it and I can't imagine anyone not liking it and I can't imagine anyone not already owning it. This is so gorgeous. Every time I smell it, I fall back in love with it. Uh, I, I got a shout out to Joy Amin for even bringing this to my attention. It is so good. If you have not smelled this gem, do it. It's a good performer. It's not obnoxious or anything like that, but it's gorgeous and it lasts a really long time. It gives you a really nice scent cloud. And everyone is going to think you smell so, so good. 
I don't know why you wouldn't already have this, but if you don't, and if the man in your life doesn't have this, get it. If he doesn't like vanilla, okay, maybe don't get it, but it's so pretty. So I think it's one of my favorite fragrances for all time. I'm obviously top five, obviously. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Mom, I'm shooting a video. Can I call you back? Thanks. Yeah. No.